It's Thunderbolt time. Who doesn't love the Thunderbolt? I know I do. So it's been a long time since I've done a Thunderbolt video. It's been an even longer time since I've done a versus the Japanese video. I tend not to. Oh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Yep. Alright then. But I tend not to put my videos against the Japanese up because I find them to be extremely boring games. They involve a very large amount of them, not a lot happening. But. How could this pa? <laughs> If only I had rockets, right? Alright, so... Hey, I got blue smoke too. Who doesn't love smoke? Oh, apparently he doesn't like smoke. And who doesn't love a giant flying anti-tank gun? So there's absolutely no way this can't possibly end without being entertaining. Seriously, how do you make fighting the Japanese fun? You go head on with an anti tank gun. <laughs> uh, well, all right, well, it, se it seems to have worked that time. Ah. Come on, guys, don't go head on. Uh oh. Oh, these planes are actually quite good against Thunderbolts. Uh, you know how I just said don't go head on? The one plane that the Japanese have that I would go head on with is that Kai 84. The Kai 84s are quite good at uh, killing Thunderbolts because they're just fast enough to be able to catch them. Uh, the downside is, I believe the Thunderbolt actually, due to having a pretty good power loading, I'm pretty sure the Thunderbolt has a better climb rate, but not by too much. Have just enough speed to complete this vertical reversal. I wouldn't. I honestly wouldn't recommend trying stuff like that at this altitude, but hey, it worked. So we're going to try and kill the Kai-84 because it's actually a threat. That zero, I can take care of that zero pretty easy. In fact, if that zero ends up on my tail, I'm going to show you exactly how to take care of zero pilots. It's it's actually quite a lot easier than people possibly imagine. So we're going to go, yeah, we're going to go after the Kai-84. We, we really need to get him gone. Unfortunately, my accuracy is, well, well, yeah, yeah, that that's my accuracy. So we're going to do another vertical... Um, that guy just shot down a Thunderbolt, so I um, bet he's feeling cocky. Come on, buddy. Come on, you have the energy to get me. He doesn't actually have the energy to get me. So we're going to complete our reversal. Um, uh-oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot the uh, zero still. I have a horribly broken flight model at low speeds. Um, that's okay, because I don't have a broken flight model. Haha, <laughs> suck it. So yeah, the zeros the zeros can prop hang for, considering the zero actually has a worse power to weight ratio than the thunderbolt. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Speaking of my better power to weight ratio than them, so this is how you deal with zeros: dive, straight down, straight 90 degrees. Come on, come on, wiggle around a little so they aren't quite so good at hitting you. And uh, he's dead. He's dead. I mean, he's going too fast. He's going to die. He can't pull out of that. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, and what happened to the zero? I'm pressing the uh, auto look back at whoever you're targeting button. He's just not there anymore. <laughs> yeah, zeros don't do well in high-speed dives. You'll notice I, I went way over 500 miles per hour in that, and I hadn't even gotten to buffeting yet. Yeah, it turns out the Thunderbolt can dive to almost 600 miles per hour without running into problems. The zero can't. I'm pretty sure even the, I'm pretty sure the Kai 84 will rip more than 100 miles per hour sooner than you will. But if you don't have enough altitude to dive away to the Kai 84's rip speed, then there's not a lot you can do. So yeah, Kai 84s. It's pretty brutal matchmaking if you go up against them. They're quite a lot higher BR than you, I think. I don't actually know what their BR is. I'm gonna have to check after this video and put the annotation up for you. But uh, the yeah, Kai 84s are actually pretty much the perfect anti Thunderbolt plane. They're just maneuverable enough to have absolutely no problem turning with you. Uh, as uh, you actually do have the climb rate advantage, so in theory you could energy fight with them, but they have such a big maneuverability advantage over you. I should probably stop talking. <laughs> Come on. I believe in myself. He could not be an easier target. Come on. <laughs> All right, that was a lot of that's a lot of bullets that he just ate. Alright, you know what? Pretty sure I got, I'm pretty sure his elevator actually just fell off. 
Okay, anyway, so in theory, you could out energy fight them, but it's it would be difficult. The Thunderbolt's energy retention in maneuvers is pretty poor. Uh, and uh, they can zoom fight with you unless you're willing to go to ridiculously high speeds. So it's the Kai 84s are proper challenges to beat in a Thunderbolt, but we got them. Two on one, no problem. <laughs> All right. Whew. You are welcome. Uh, I can't spell. Longer that I thought. All right. <laughs> I'm a special kind of special person. All right, it's Kai 43. I beat you in every way except turn time. You're also an AI, and AI aren't exactly renowned for being smart. God, all right. I got a loop. Oh, look at that loop. Oh, look at that loop that AI did. The AI on my team, the one that was just <laughs> the one that has the AI I'm trying to attack attacking him. That was impressive. I haven't, I've never seen the AI do a proper rolling scissors like that. Oh, he's doing it again. Oh, he's rolling scissoring with a... Oh, oh, and now I can hit them. Now that nobody I care about's in danger, I can just nail them, no problem. Alright, well, that's it for today. Just remember, have fun with whatever you're having fun with, and, uh, you know, if you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Uh, you know, like, rate, comment, all those fun, wonderful things. Unless you don't want to, in which case, fine, don't. No, I'm kidding, you're the best. <laughs>